How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here at the Orlando Convention Center because we're gonna see the new lineup of all the 2024 sea hunts. I'm excited to share it with you guys. So let's get inside and let's see what they got. Alrighty, I found the sea hunt booth. who this is i'm here with iggy we're here at the orlando convention center at the boat show we're gonna hop on the new ultimate marine game fish 30 and he's gonna show us all the new features that this boat has so take it away bro <laughs> thank you Riel. great to see you as always buddy it's awesome to have you what an ambassador you are buddy thank you for everything you do um so yeah this is a 30 game fish 2024 this is the baddest 30 game fish i've ever seen um, I know yours is pretty badass, but this one actually tops your boat. Uh, it's got Sea Keeper like your boat, but other than that, we've done just so much to it. We're gonna go ahead and walk you around the boat and kind of show you it's just got a whole lot. So we'll start back here with the engines. These are custom paint to match. They also have a very high-end lighting system that we can make a change, all kinds of colors, rhythm, go to the beat, all kinds of stuff. Also, if you look on the side of the boat, we did uh, the Seahome logos, were done 3D, completely changed to custom match the colors of the boat. We also did something a lot like it back here with the Ultimate Marine logo. And this is the new color, this is a new green uh, that we have for 2024. This boat has Starlink internet, thermal imaging cameras, radar, super hooked up stereo, it's got a trolling motor. It's got um, outriggers and carbon fiber. It's got the, the US flag. It's all metal. I don't know if you can see it. The question the is, what, what does this boat not have? <laughs> yeah, really, it, it, really has it, just, it really has it all. It really, really, really has it all. There's, it just leaves nothing uh, to wish for. We'll hop on there and show you guys a little more from on board. But uh, it's truly an incredible boat. As you guys can see, all these flags. This is, uh, we're on Sunday. This is just the opening day on Sunday. But we sold a whole bunch of boats. There's also flags on the other side of the boat. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, the, the shades, the antennas, you know, everything on this boat is aftermarket and very custom done. Let's come on board and check out the rest of it. Let's go. All right, guys, we're here at the bow of the boat. And the first thing you see here is going to be your rodent trolling motor. Uh, we've done to this a very custom support bar here. Uh, there isn't another one like it. And the whole boat's a lot like it. You also see the, the speakers, the sea deck flooring, the lighting in the speakers. How many, how many colors does, lights does it do? It has uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 colors. Wow. Yeah. And also, I've thought about putting one of these on my boat. How many inches is one of these? Because I know since this boat is a lot taller than smaller boats that have this how, how long is this how many inches so is so an 84 inch is the ideal size for this boat so that when you have a little bit of of waves it doesn't come out of the water exactly 84 should be the right size i honestly it. didn't even know that these can go on on boats you know on 30s i've seen them on 27s but this is the first time i see it on a 30. they're incredible and this one i'm going to show you the battery that we did with it it's a pretty big battery sitting on the side of the um sea keeper Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it really does its job super well and it's very quiet. The boat mm -hmm. has the capability of digital anchoring, just right. much like your boat, right. where you hit a button and it stays there. But that puts the engines to work and it does... Puts a know, lot of stress, get... stress on the trans from yeah. you know, shifting yeah. back and forth. Not, this, this is not necessarily chain. stress on the, on, on the transmission, but it's just keeping the motors going. You feel like the engines are running. It just, you know, this is a completely quiet, solid system and it's just completely parallel from your engines and it's just it's really really cool to have a lot of our customers want these 
Um, I haven't had it in any of my 30 game fish yet, but I really see it as something very, very cool to have, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure, I see a lot of value in it. So it's great, and this is one, this one's all custom. The plate is fully removable at, at the front, so if you don't, if you want to go out there and, and not use it, you can fully remove it as well. Awesome. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you the battery that comes with it. So before we move to the back of the boat, I want to show you we have a shade here up front. We also have a shade in the back. This shade you can run if you're trolling, you can keep it on. Um, if you're going to be going any faster than that, you want to remove the front one. The back one can run about 30 miles an hour without having to remove it. We also have the two tower speakers facing forward. They got lighting, of course. We got two right here at the helm as well. And we got two tower speakers facing back. Wow. Never seen that many speakers on a yes, sir. game fish before. This thing sounds incredible. We'll, we'll do a little bit of music to show you guys. Mm -hmm. Here's the rear shade with all the access for your rod holders. We also have your deep drop plugs. For those that have electric reels and love that kind of fishing, we have those mm -hmm. on both sides. Here back here, we have the Sea Keeper. And on the side, you're going to see the two big AGM uh, batteries. Mm -hmm. This boat has a total of 10 batteries on board. Wow. That's awesome. We got Sea Deck back here. What about this plate right here? Because this looks a little different from my boat. So this is a custom board that we added. We, we removed the small plate for the cutting board here, and this is just one very large cutting board. It's got here engraved the Ultimate Marine logo, yeah, that's nice. and it's got the measuring here. So we make sure that the catch that we do is pretty legal. We're staying within the limits of uh, regulations. Mm -hmm. Yep. Something else I wanted to show you before we come all the way back here is this overhead glove box. It's something that we've been wishing for. Let's come back here oh, to yeah. the helm. <laughs> a lot of us, you know, have replaced this with an aftermarket piece that goes here. Now Seahorn's doing it straight from factory. Nice. It's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. It's not the biggest compartment in the world, but for your wallet, right. uh, you know, all, all the paperwork personal of the stuff, bowl. extra self, yeah, paperwork. Sometimes even some, some people carry a gun. Mm -hmm. You can also put it in here. That here we have this mat that very friendly holds your cell phone. So here, if you have any connections for it, we also have two chargers oh, here. Wow, we two. have one here and another one here. That's awesome. Here's your Sea Keeper control. Mm -hmm. Joystick, joystick, autopilot controls, your trim tabs. And also, look at <laughs> two more speakers I just seen right now. <laughs> look yes, at that, guys. <laughs> yes, yeah, these are like subwoofers. Yes, they are. So back here we have lights on the uh, motors that can be controlled from your Garmin screen. You can have it match or not match what the speaker lighting is. Um, it's a really cool feature. A lot of people are liking it. Um, so let's go ahead. We have the 305. This is a 30 game fish coffin box model. And right next to it, we have a 305 Ultra. Want to go over that boat. That boat has uh, some very cool changes for 2024 that I want to show you guys about. Let's go. Let's go see it. All right, guys, now this is our 2024 Sea Hunt Ultra 305. And the number one thing they did biggest for me was the dual dive door. I don't know of any other 30 footer in the market that has dual dive door. And after owning for many years a boat with a single dive door that I absolutely love, I know that many of us pull up to docks where we need them on the other side. It's yeah. always a thing. And or so, me, when I tie up to other boats at the sandbar, I'll be like, hey, Get on, get on my starboard, don't get on my port side so I can not block my door. Absolutely, and for me, for example, I spearfish is what I love to do the most. And I, I could be spearfishing on the port, starboard part of the boat, and now I can bring a fish, you know, as soon as we shoot the fish and it's bleeding, we want to throw it on board. Of course. we know who's coming. <laughs> before right? the tax man comes. Exactly, <laughs> before the tax man. So the fact that I, I keep these open and I can just throw the fish on board over any of the sides, it's, it's really, really cool. I don't have to swim around the boat longer with a bleeding fish, um, I can just throw it overboard. So that's that's a big deal. That's got, that's making me switch from a game fish to an ultra. So mm -hmm. I consider myself more- You can tell he's a good salesman because he's convincing me too. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty big deal. This 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 dual dive door thing is definitely it's a game the biggest game. thing um, to me anyway that, that these guys did. Um, mm -hmm. We also did the bow table. It's a huge deal. We're gonna show it to you guys. And, and I like that a lot. But this by far to me personally, uh, it's, it's, it's a game changer, this, this dual dive door. And nobody else is doing it. The bow tables, you can see them in, in some boats, but 
the duo dive doors. These guys are always pushing the envelope. Come on board, let's, let's show it now, to you. Now, one of the things that everybody always asks me is what's the biggest difference between a game fish and an ultra? And I always point to this back part right here of the board, of the boat where you guys have the entertainment center, the sink, and where you know my boat has a, a bench seat with the, with the sea keeper. Can people get a sea keeper with this ultra also? Absolutely, and so yes, it's a very good question, and we do get this question often. Ultra means that you're going to have a rear bench, and it's going to, and 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 that's going to be the layout of the boat back here. You're going to have one big bench across the rear. If you see all of our ultras, that's exactly how they are. Um, it also is going to change the bottom of the boat. Gets comes out of the same exact mold, mm -hmm. so you're going to be the same bottom, the same navigating uh, specs, but the top of the boat is going to be different completely because of this specifically and because the front, just like the boat we just saw is a coffin box, there is no ultra coffin box. Mm. Okay, so all of your ultras are gonna be forward seating, which is how you're gonna see this boat laid gotcha. out, which is how your boat is and our, my boat now, is. Now, they, they lose the back cooler, so where do they, where, where do they put their, their drinks and their stuff since they're losing this back cooler? Great question. So if you look back here, you have a live well here. Um, I don't use the live well too much, mm -hmm. and so this is more fam This is a boat. The ultra is more family mm -hmm. uh, than fishing. You can use that as a cooler. We also have the two boxes up front. Those are really, really good. And you obviously have this cooler right here as well. So you have numerous options um, of what. And where this, to I guess pulls out, right? Yes. It slides <laughs> out. Nice. I'm gonna open this up. It's a perfect cooler That's right awesome. here. You can remove it. You and it's out of the way. Out you know, it way. slides right in. And you can swim to the sandbar with it as well. Awesome. So here at the helm, the main thing that I that I see different, uh, this, this binnacle is a little bit newer. It's got the start-stop button. You can actually power up the motor from here. This is, this is a newer model than what we're used to from last year. Also, they're going with a much higher end uh, JL audio system. This is now your Media Master 50 that we're used to. That's the Media Master 100. And also, all these speakers are not the M3s. These are the M6s. So it's a big upgrade from the stereo that you got on your boat brand new to this. It's a pretty big difference. Nice. It sounds great. So definitely on something else, we'll obviously have the bow table switch here. Let's go up to the front and show you what that looks like. All righty. There she is. A lot so, of people have been talking about the, about the table. Of, a lot of people have been talking about this table. This table is incredibly uh, solid where it is. It's actually tested to 400 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and lower it and level it so you see uh, how it goes up and down and how you can level and it'll hold my weight perfectly. Nice. So this table has been tested to hold 400 pounds. So it's very solid on there. If you want to fish, if you want to sleep on here, you can level it. And obviously you can always bring it all the way down, but it's, it's very sturdy. It's not something you're going to have to worry about. It really holds very well. Mm -hmm. I can move around. It's... They took a while to make it, but it looks like they, they did it well made. Yes, sir. Now that we have the table, I'm pretty sure, you know, the compartment that I have on mine is not there, but they still didn't take that away. See how and make sure to keep that compartment. It's a little bit smaller, but look how deep inside so, it goes. And it does go that way? It does. And you have drainage right here too. Yes, sir. That's awesome. So really, you're not losing that much space from the table, you're from not. that compartment. You're not. You still have this forward. This is what I use for my dock lines, and it even has a little thing here for a knife, which is good to use if you, know, if you ever catch a fish and you're up in the front, you don't have to walk back to get a knife or a wine opener or a wine opener <laughs> i like that idea <laughs> well we definitely want to thank you ariel for coming out here and showcasing our boats you're always doing a great job educating customers and showing what sihon is doing so thank you very much for coming to orlando boat show and taking the time to document all our boats here with ultimate marine and joe absolutely Iggy. thank you so much I mean, obviously we're super excited with ultimate marine and sea hunt we were out throughout Central Florida from New Smyrna, Orlando, and Tampa Bay. Our Tampa Bay location is coming online now, open in about 30 days. And we've got all the 2024 Sea Hunts in stock, our Ultimate Editions being built at all our stores as well. So thanks again for coming out to Orlando Boat Show, checking out Ultimate Marine and Sea Hunt 2024. You're watching, You're watching Miami, Miami Living 305. 305.